Happening this week at the State House, a hearing on a proposal that would make it legal to point a gun as a form of self-defense. WRTV's Cameron Riddle takes a closer look at what that means and why not everyone thinks it's a good idea. The African American Coalition of Indianapolis and Moms Demand Action are just some of the Indiana organizations pushing back against Senate Bill 199. Senate Bill 199 would include pointing a loaded gun at somebody as reasonable force. Um, and to do that can only exacerbate a rough situation. The bill introduced by Senators Michael Young and Chris Garten specifies that reasonable force would include the pointing of a loaded or unloaded firearm for purposes of arrest or preventing escape or for self-defense when trying to prevent someone from illegally entering a home, motor vehicle, aircraft, or business. Marshawn Woley with the African American Coalition says he believes the bill is in response to the riots of May 2020. Woley says had the bill been in effect last year, downtown business owners would have legally been able to point a gun at rioters to protect their property. The concern also is just the use of a weapon in that fashion. Um, generally, when you're pointing a gun at somebody, it's supposed to be in really like dangerous, lethal kinds of circumstances. This is potentially um, basically making gunplay legal. Patricia Reddick with Moms Demand Action calls Senate Bill 199 an expansion of the Stand Your Ground law and the organization plans to testify against the bill. She believes if passed, this piece of legislation would only make matters worse by adding more guns to a likely tense situation in several Indiana cities where gun violence is a growing problem. And these types of laws are doing absolutely nothing to address that and bring down the gun violence in any way. If anything, they're exacerbating the existing stand your ground law in a bad situation and increasing the potential for more gun violence. Cameron Riddle, WRTV. Well, WRTV reached out to both Senator Young and Garten for a response. The press secretary for Senator Young said that the senator was not feeling well and not at the state house today. A representative for Senator Garten did not respond to our request for comment. SB 199 passed out of the Senate last month and is headed for a hearing in the House this Wednesday.